everybody, welcome to our June combination where we learn Pas de Basque very slowly and in stages. Pas de Basque does not mean much, it means step of the Basque or Basque people, so it could be anything really, so it doesn't give you a clue. We begin with standing in Epelmont towards point A, the left front corner of the room. And we have a battement ton du croisé devant, whilst we bring the arms to first position. And then we open the leg and the arms to the side, have an allongé, closing in front. We repeat that in plié, plié, ton du front, arms lift to first. Rong to the side, arms to second. Now my left leg pushes me up onto my right leg. Allongé, left leg closes in front. To repeat the movement, we do a coup de pied front to the back. So if we can move the right leg again, plié front. This time with the opening, we do a swivel from the left corner to the right corner from point A to point two. And then we stepping towards the right leg, the left foot pushes me there, closing into fifth. Chassé or swish to the front to tong du back or a third arabesque of the Vaganova system. Then we have a rollaby lang in third arabesque, tong du, transferring back via a tong lié, and then we repeat on the other side. Tong du front, rong side, allongé, closing fifth in plié, front to the side, pushing over, closing front, step back, plié, front, rong with swivel, pushing back, chassé, front, relevé, lang, to arabes, tong du, tong lié, back. And let's look at those movements in greater detail. Now the main thing you need to know, the pas de bas, in the end version, it looks like very smooth. And we can do it as an adash, we can do it as an allegro, and we can do it in a tongue combination, so we can do it fast, slow, big and small. The main thing, however, is front to the side whilst we swivel from corner to corner. Front, the leg goes side, and that movement changes my hip from one side to the other. It's very important to know your tongue du side very well, which comes from a parallel position. Rotate the thighs out as much as you can without wobbling the hips, placing your feet to fifth. Now, where your big toe shows, that's where your tongue du to the side goes, because that's where we can rotate the thigh bone in the hip socket. We can keep the heel in front of our big toe, with that, we maintain the alignment of the pelvis and we can move the leg without misaligning anything else in our body. If I go further to the side with my leg, then my hip socket allowing, my muscles allowing, I go further, the leg will turn in, the heel is behind, it will lift my hip, it will block my hip because bone on bone, the thigh bone will touch the hip socket bone. I will probably tilt and I can no longer separate the leg from the pelvis, from the rest of the body. And very often we see that. Watch out in class. One, two, instead of one, two. The movement is tongue du front, wrong side. Tongue du front, wrong side. Tongue du front, wrong side the front wrong side and the side action moves me around and I have to wait on my forefoot my heel is light so that I can move around very lightly on the forefoot that's where you want to stay on your axis there after all this overload of information 
front along to the side. My weight is already on the forefoot to open. My leg is still in front of my hip where I can maintain the turnout. Now here we have the second part of a glissade jump. The power of this foot pushes me over. And can you see I'm not really jumping, I'm just pointing and I'm lifting only as much as I need to point my foot. And from there I can then slide forward. Here we want to have long fingertips reaching front, long toenails reaching back, top of the ears reaching up. And without disturbing any of those long lean lines, I'm lifting my back leg as much as I can, only as far as I can continue to lengthen everything else. And then plie force, transfer to the other side. You also want to add the head for one. You're looking into your front palm with a long neck and the right shoulder. Now with the swivel, you're going to look over your left forearm. Let me show it from the back. You look into your front palm. With the opening, you want to look over your left forearm. Now with the side step, you're going to look over your back hand. Your eyes follow your back hand. And then they're looking over your front hand, which is still the right. You lift, and when you detonglie, the elbows soften, the knees soften, the chin soften, your gaze soften, and then everything looks up again. From the front, looking front, side, over your back hand, your eyes follow the back hand, they follow the front arm now, looking into eternity, into the future, then everything softens, knees, elbows, gaze, in order to come up again and start on the other side or to finish. I hope this helps and brings you joy. If you have any questions, of course, do let me know. If you like this video and this channel, please like and subscribe. And if you find this video very helpful, you can press the thank you button or buy me a coffee. The link is down in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.